over the last 30 years, we've experienced a tremendous rise in income inequality. Uh, and at the same time, many features of the tax system have become less progressive. And so what that means is that instead of being a countervailing force to differences between uh, the very wealthy and everybody else, uh, the tax system has in fact piled on and exacerbated the differences in take-home pay. And so I think what that means is that distributional, distributional considerations, which are always important in tax reform, uh, are going to be particularly important going forward. Uh, my second point is just beyond distributional issues. Improving compensation and living standards for, for workers in the aggregate uh, requires increasing labor productivity. And labor productivity is in part a function of investments in things like factories, machines, software, and equipment. Uh, and, I, and again, I, I don't think this is a silver bullet, but I do think that changes in the tax system, particularly in the corporate tax system, that encourage business investment can help increase living standards uh, over a period of time. Uh, and I think that that's, uh, that should be an important, important consideration when we're doing tax reform. And so when I look out at, uh, at current discussions of corporate tax reform, they seem uh, highly focused on the fact that we have the world's highest or second highest corporate rate. And I, and I like to point out that this year, at least, we probably have the lowest rate uh, or among the lowest rate in the world uh, on new investment. And that's because we have uh, the expense of investment. Uh, if a company builds a new factory, uh, invests in equipment or machines, it's able to, to take a deduction against its taxable income which is kind of like your 401k, where you take a tax deduction today and that offsets your future tax liability down the road. And then, of course, on top of this, corporations can deduct the interest on their, on their debt used to finance that. So they actually have a, a, net, a net subsidy. And I actually think that the, that kind of low tax rate on new investment is exactly what we, we should want if our goal is to promote, promote investment. Uh, and I think in maintaining that low rate on new investment or maintaining a low rate on, low, on new investment, uh, should be a priority over and above uh, our efforts to, to lower the, the top line corporate rate. And so finally, uh, addressing these long-term economic trends is, is again not just going to be about our corporate tax system, uh, but also requires a, a variety of other programs. Uh, public investments in, in human capital or continued financing for important safety net programs. And that, that means that uh, we're going to need tax revenues. And if you look at our tax system, uh, our current tax system doesn't raise enough revenue to pay for Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, defense, and net interest, uh, let alone everything else that the government finances. And so I think that uh, you know, that's another motivation for why we need uh, a tax reform, is to ensure that we have the revenues we need to finance our government uh, and address our deficit problems uh, over the long run. 